lower inflammation, number one, is healthy foods. I, you know, supplements are supplemental to a healthy diet. So number one is the fiber, the healthy fat, the lean and clean protein, the beneficial beverages, the fabulous flavors and spices. That's the best way to lower inflammation. Um, but there are supplements that will add additional benefit. One of those is like EPA, DHA. Those are those long chain omega-3s from seafood. You get them from seaweed, um, cold water shellfish, and cold water fish like wild salmon. Those are really powerful. So if someone's inflamed, I'm going to suggest some source of long chain omega-3 seafood they get. The second has to do with curry spices. And probably the most powerful we've studied is um, an extract called curcumin. Curcumin comes from the curry spice called turmeric, that yellow spice. And it's, wow, it is so powerful. It's an awesome anti-inflammatory agent. We now know if we give people curcumin, it helps arthritis and joint pain. I use it every day. It keeps my joints from hurting. We use it, we're using it now in uh, memory loss studies, Alzheimer trials, because if we can block inflammation, we can help slow memory loss in some patients. And the cancer researchers are using it because if, if you're inflamed, that nourishes cancer growth. By lowering inflammation, you slow cancer growth. So like at MD Anderson and many of the cancer centers, they're using curcumin in their scientific research trials and they're having great results. So... Um, those, but Italian spices, curry spices, um, those are good for anti-inflammatory. Chili spices are great for anti-inflammatory. Uh, other things you can do that's not food, exercise. If you exercise every day, you get a nice aerobic workout. And we show people how to do a fitness test and get an awesome workout in the 30-day hard tune-up. That will lower your inflammation. And if you lose weight, that's terrific for, you know, fat cells make you inflamed. The more weight you gain, the more inflamed you are. And by helping people lose weight, which we do, um, weight loss is great for lowering inflammation. So those are just a few of the critical steps we offer in the 30-day heart tune-up to help lower inflammatory levels. 